Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Well today is October 4th, 2023. So that house on the right hand side, that yellow house, and I'll throw a photograph over it there. We had a fire on there shortly after I drove by the uh, Pleasant Street. So today we're doing some uh, road video. We're going down Pleasant Street in, uh, in the early days, as you recall, we 2020 there. We did some road videos for you guys to enjoy. And today we're exploring Pleasant Street. And uh, yeah, so we went all the way down to the end of Pleasant Street and I uh, went past Shawn Farm, just swung the car around and did the return trip. And I'm gonna just talk a little bit over the timeline and show you what I see over here. And uh, we had a good bright sunny day yesterday in the 80s and this was late in the afternoon yesterday and we're there on my right hand side at Bennett School. Oh boy, how many people went to Bennett School? I, I certainly one of them. And we're coming up over here, passing Leeds Market on the right hand side. And of course they're closed now, they have the building up for sale. That yeah, Right on the left just before uh, Pond Street was the house that was almost destroyed during the uh, flood damage. We'll see it a little more clearly on the uh, rebound. And that's uh, Chestnut Street. If you went up that way, you'd be going up towards Barrett Park. We'll explore Barrett Park another day. So I'm just taking a little cruise here. You can see I'm driving around in my brand new 2023 Hyundai Elantra. It's riding really, really smooth. I'm sorry about the glare of the sun, but hey, it's better than the rain it would be getting. It seemed like what she was just saying this morning on the news every, in the last three or four months, we've only had one weekend where it hadn't rained. And uh, so yeah, we got more rain coming in again this weekend. So just drive along with Ron and uh, you'll be fine and uh, you know, hope you enjoy these videos. There was a little bit of a uh, puck hole there that they could get. Again, the car was driving really, really smooth. And I'm pretty much cruising along at 30, 35 over here. I think tried to keep the speed down as best I could. I'm just gonna narrate it over the video as I uh, come to an end with it. We had a school bus and uh, yeah, and, uh, of course there's motorcycles in front of me, so I pretty much stay my distance and I try to respect them the best I can. I uh, do not want to get too close to motorcycles because, uh, you know, if they go flying you, and if you're not paying attention, chances are you might, you know, run over them and you wouldn't want that, you know. So, so I certainly uh, keep my distance at least two or three car lengths behind them when, if I can. And uh, just, of course, just cruising along on Pleasant Street, and uh, you know, uh, you know, I really enjoy doing these videos for you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Ron's Keto Cafe. I put up a lot of great videos and uh, motivational videos, and you know, I ended up picking up a, a Rove camera dash cam. It's called a Rove. Uh, oh, sorry about that. It's called a Rove R2 4K video takes really great video, 4K video quality. I can set it up with a timestamp if I want, and uh, you can actually show the speed limit. I'm going over the timeline, but I didn't want all the extra added distraction for you guys. What's great about these um, dash cams is that, you know, if you, God forbid, if you got into an accident, it would uh, record the accident for you, so then you would actually know whose fault it was and what actually did happen. Again, yeah, we're driving just around, just around the corner over here. We're going to come up to Sholem Palms on your right hand side. I did actually pull into Sholem Palms and walked a little bit down the Apple Orchard this day, but I didn't stay too long. It was just too hot in the afternoon for me. It was like about 83 degrees, and it was very hot and muggy. And I did pick a couple of apples and brought them home there for my wife. And uh, I don't usually eat too many apples, but I'm on the weight loss keto, especially if I'm doing clean keto. And uh, you know, I believe we're coming up to the number six schoolhouse here on the right hand side and uh, we're just crossing over Wachusett Street. You gotta really be careful on the pack coming up to that intersection because people sometimes don't always stop for those stop signs up that way. I hadn't run into too much of that, but you gotta be vigilant anyways and make sure that they stop before you cross because you don't want to cause any accident or issues. Yeah, so uh, having a little bit of a stuffy nose this morning. And just coming up on May Street on the right hand side, they were there. We went down to that Powell Mines a while back ago, a few years ago, and walked up towards Palmer's Rock. 
when I found an easier way cutting through the orchard when I went through the, down that area. I plan on going back over there at some point there, you know, I wanted to grab my little series of photos. The Lemister Recreation Department, they t uh, periodically will go over there on field trips there with a group of people there. You're better off to do that. So that barn on the left hand side there, a developer bought that whole land property back there and they're going to be developing condos in that area at some point. Yeah, we know more condos going up, just what we need, right? So, uh, yeah, one up probably, for all I know, it probably for Benzie. And, uh, you know, just coming along, cruising along. Every now and then I'll hit a little bump in the road, but it's just, uh, you know, at this point, I'm, like I said, I'm cruising along at about 30, 35 miles an hour, just trying to keep my speed respectable. And we're coming up to Shoaling Farms over here on the right hand side. Now this is one of my absolutely favorite walking places. I go to a lot of times when I can. And uh, you know, and uh, they were supposed to have the uh, fall harvest this coming weekend. But again, we got pouring rain coming in Saturday and uh, that all got canceled out. And they're gonna have some things going on there, but not the event they wanted to have. And I, she said that they're not sure if they were gonna be making that up or not. And I, I seriously doubt it. These events are uh, scheduled well out in advance and you know when you got vendors and people that you know schedule for that specific date and then it gets canceled out in the weather well there's nothing you can do about it just act on mother nature. So yeah I'll let you guys know it's going really good. Yeah, I got a brand new car out of the flood and paid off all my debt and you know you just got a monthly bill with the car and it's again. But you know, the you know my wife was a little bit upset the other day. She was kind of crying because we had lost all that Christmas stuff and you know the, the collectibles we collected over the years and stuff. But just time to let it go. They were they were cleaning up the self the yesterday and getting rid of all the uh, stuff that was saturated in water and taking down the uh, storage bins area and uh, yeah and uh, you know it's terrible. But what else are you going to do, right? And. Uh, so we're just about coming up to the end of the uh, first flyby over here on uh, Pleasant Street. I went down to as far as the stop sign. They, maybe it extended out a little further, I'm not really sure. But what I ended up doing over here, guys, I ended up taking a right hand turn and they turned the car around into somebody's driveway. And uh, you know, you don't really see that part. Now I'm coming back the opposite way over here. That At this point, I just kept on going and uh, you know, <clears throat> what's really great about these videos is you can really see a lot when you're driving that you don't normally would see when somebody does road video. You know, I'd like to just, uh, when I'm on the passenger side, I typically will see more than I can see when I'm, you know, when I'm driving. Because when I'm driving, obviously, you got to pay attention. And what's really nice about the new car is, uh, you know, I got my radio on and I got somebody's music playing in the background. and. Of course, I can't put that music up over the timeline, so I get elected to use this program called Pomora 12, and I got uh, their music that I'm using over the timeline, and YouTube and Facebook doesn't seem to have a problem with their music, and it's really been a nice uh, experience using this program, and I use it for my recipes and for my daily video blogs that I put up all the time, and I do use Premiere and. You know, the Adobe products as well, and, and you know, a little bit about me, I'm still going to school and I'm still losing weight. I suspended school for a couple of months, going back in January, and there'll be in-house classes, and, and uh, you know, looking forward to getting my college degree, and over here we've got showing bombs on the left-hand side, and, uh, you know, we just uh, cut the video at that point, go, go continuing on with the uh, journey down the Pleasant Street and uh, like again you can typically see a lot more in the video as you're driving along and uh, when you're on the passenger side I don't really pay attention to it too much when I'm on the uh, driver's side I'm just more concentrating on my driving and making sure that I don't go over my lines and and just doing the uh, road videos now I did go up Fiscal Lane Avenue the, today which was the uh, and uh, they were painting the lines over there. We got a brand new road with sidewalks, so hopefully at the end of the week when that's all done, if it's not raining out or if it's overcast, so I might still go down that road and record the video for you to show you what the uh, new road pavement on Viscoy Avenue looks like with the uh, new sidewalks, you know, and they got the uh, Francis Drake School over there, and the project is still there, and some other businesses that are still there, and that ball field is still there, so, and, you know, you know, it's fun tra traveling on these roads, and again, coming back up to the power lines, I mentioned to the, uh, you guys earlier in the video. I 
so right now it's quiet in the morning I'm at home and I'm doing the uh, <clears throat> these videos for you guys so you enjoy so I hope my voice is coming and okay because like, again I got a little bit of stuffed up nose this morning we had a uh, terrible fire last night on Pleasant Street and I thought it was a, set, uh, a different fire well, it turns out that 33 Pleasant Street will coming up on the end of the video over here that you'll see that this was, was probably the only video they got at that house before the fire destroyed it. And uh, last night around 1 o'clock in the morning, it struck two or three alarms again. And they, uh, from what I was told, uh, I believe Lancaster and Sterling and possibly even Lunenburg came in to help out Lemiston last night. And uh, so later on in the morning when the breaks after I get dressed, I'm going to walk down there and take some photographs of them. Let me get into the area. And uh, yeah, so it's just terrible when you fire. We went through that back in the early 90s. We had lost everything. And you know, we didn't have insurance back then. But we do have apartment insurance that covers fire. So, you know, at least I'm going to be checking it to make sure that it does. And, uh, you know, this is going to be my last insurance I get with this particular company for, for uh, apartment insurance. Uh, AAA and I believe also Geico Insurance covers uh, homeowners insurance and make sure it uh, specif uh, specifies what you want in the policy as far as flood insurance goes because we may never have to use the flood insurance again in our lifetime but it, had I had it stayed in my flood insurance I would have been covered by my belongings in the basement and I did apply for the FEMA website I haven't heard anything back from FEMA but um, you know it is what it is if you get something fine if you don't get something from a fine you know, just when they told my wife, just let it go. It's just time to let it go. I'm enjoying my cup of coffee here while I'm talking over the video and I'm just trying to remember what I think think of what to say over these videos and again I hope you enjoy these videos and I take a lot of pride and dedication what I do and I you know I'm still trying to lose weight I'm still getting healthy I still am losing weight not as fast as I'd like to but you know again weight loss is a journey and if you lose one to two pounds a week you're doing okay and that's usually how I've been averaging my weight loss since I uh, started my weight loss journey back in the early days of 2020 and and continue to this day so yeah and again we're coming down pleasant street for those of you who are not familiar with uh, the video that i'm doing i'll have some information over the timeline you know maybe, maybe at some point i'll put up some uh you know photographs with the uh with what they uh, look like on the sides of the video as you go and buy some of these structures there from the past if i, if I can get the permission from the guys at the historical commission you know i i didn't want this uh videos I'm doing it these are for my own private uh, ch channel and I, I you know I'm not gonna share them out over the city I'll just probably share these out with my own Facebook page and my own YouTube channel but I don't want my YouTube channel to be all road videos either just a just a few now in the house on the right hand side yeah that's one that was constantly on the news after the flood and they're, they're rebuilding up the foundation to just uh, sure up the house so there's a so they don't lose the house. Can you imagine going to work, coming home, and finding you got no house anymore? That, that's going to be a terrible feeling. Now we're coming around the corner over here. We're just about ready to pass by uh, Franklin Street. Again, this is uh, Ron from the from uh, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm passing a Cottage Street over here on my left. And over there, we're coming up to. Uh, Adam Street over here, and uh, the Lumberster Credit Union is on my right. I mean, yeah, you have Weimers on my right, and then you have the uh, chicken place on the left over here, and then they stopped over here to let some pedestrians and some cars go over here, and uh, let this guy go. I just am not, I'm in no rush. And then that uh, yellow house, which is 33 Pleasant Street, there it caught fire late afternoon yesterday, and then it burned down a little bit. Uh, well, actually, it did burn last night. I don't know if they. I don't think they're going to be able to save the structure, and that would be right over here on your left, just before the um, Allen Block. And so, again, this is Ron. I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And again, uh, th thanks for watching.